Elena's immediate family consists of her husband Ricky and her three children. She is also proud of other family members, including her sister, who received a recent heart transplant. She and her husband are the owners of Beeman's Management Association for Minority Businesses, which has guided her in chairing the Move 22 project for local minority businesses. Being an unsung hero tonight is not her first time. She once received an unsung hero award from the Georgia Baptist Association. It is so important to encourage others to volunteer because it's like carrying a torch. You know, we won't always be here, but we have to be an influence and to our youth, which is our future generation. So taking them with me to volunteer, to get, inv to get involved, to expose them to what leadership is all about. You know, being a mentor, being a motivator, being an inspiration. So if they see us lead by example, not walk, not walk the walk, but talk the talk and live it by example, then that motivates them to want to be a service to all mankind. I chose to be involved with the school board is because I want to be an ace, a, a voice and an inspiration to our young people. Being a part of their development and their growth means a lot. Uh, we have so many children who want to expand, go to college, grow, but you got to reach them to be able to teach them. I chose the Chamber of Commerce to get involved because I believe in the businesses. Rome won't grow unless we attract people here because this is a great city to raise your children in. The reason why I chose to get involved with young people with the Housing Authority is because we have a lot of families here who live in poverty. And just because where you live shouldn't define who you are. And I wanted to motivate and encourage those young people to know that I too came from a poverty area, but I knew then that I had a hope and I had a dream. And I wanted to share with them that if I can do it, you can do it. And I feel like that if you give God the opportunity to lead your pathway and he's going to direct you in the right places. So working with gospel, the, the gospel divas and the children at the church, the youth group and through faith, because a lot of times we can reach children through song and music. When they give God the glory and they lift their hands up in praise, their blessings come down and overflow. You know, it's amazing that this time last year we were raising funds for my sister who needed a heart and it became very critical that she had to have a heart by the end of January. Well, uh, because uh, God is so good and graceful, on January the 30th, she got a heart. And to, it's amazing that this, this year that we're gonna be celebrating, you know, me, but I don't look at the things that I've done as, you know, for a praise. I, I did all the things that I do because I have a loving heart and I have a love for people. And I thought that's the way of God thanking me for being a servant and giving my sister a heart, then I graciously accept it.